What's up, YouTube? All right, we got another roof far, far from home. Another one I didn't even look at. I just showed up here. But you know what? Guys, guys seem to know what he's talking about. Seemed like a pretty trustworthy guy. Plus, I met with him. I've had his down payment for like a month almost now before we're finally able to get to this thing because of weather and things like that. So it's finally going to be nice enough. Got a couple 40 degree days ahead of us. Um, but yeah, this roof, a couple bad sheets of wood over here. Well, there's some over there, a little hard to see, but he estimated seven bad sheets. Doesn't quite look like that many, but I think definitely there's some creaking over here. We're gonna have to shoot a few down. Um, but yeah, goal is to get this thing off and on in one day easily. It's after 8.30 already, it's like 8.45 by the time we're able to get down here and it gets dark at, you don't wanna be up here much after 4.30, so. Uh, we gotta get this thing off and on. And uh, we're gonna try to. I wouldn't see why not. We're gonna cut this ridge vent open a little, a little bigger, that's for sure. And I, and I got a, I brought a bathroom exhaust vent too. So if you think I wasn't prepared for a roof I haven't seen, you're wrong. I got a bunch of plywood in there. Uh, and then I've got a bathroom exhaust because that's definitely not a, a vent right there. So I saw, we saw that from Google Earth. Also, he just gave me the measurements of the, he gave me the measurements of the building. And I had to use the Pythagorean theorem to find out how many squares this thing was. Don't laugh, boy. <laughs> it's true, dude. I love the memes. People say, 28 years old, still haven't had to use the Pythagorean theorem. But you know about finding the, the length of a hypotenuse. All right, y'all don't even know what hypotenuse means. I'm gonna get the hang in. All right, got some wood replaced here. Sorry, I would have, uh, I wish I had my GoPro charged. I'm new to this, so my bad, my bad on that. But uh, yeah, we are uh, got these two pieces of wood replaced. We got two more over there. And yeah, they did some weird stuff here, so don't even say nothing about my seam on seam. This is all just seam on seam stack plywood all the way up. All right, just giving you guys a quick update. I stepped on my coil. I'm gonna throw that away for a little bit. Uh, yep, we're just getting started. Me and Tim are shingling. We got four guys unloading this stuff. Ended up, they ended up getting this whole side done before we, I really got started shingling because I had to. Uh, we had shingles in my truck and they showed up way early so we had to unload them from my truck onto his truck again So I should have never wasted my time going to pick that up yesterday, but that's part of owning a business um, So yeah We're kind of ready to go. They're just stacking them on this side They'll make a stack of three at the very top kind of like they're doing way down there Let me make sure you guys can see that that way it's out of our way you know and I mean it's uh, let's see what time it is it is 1040 so good chance to get some good squares on by the time we got to take lunch and uh i think we're i think we're gonna be sitting nice for uh, getting this roof done today be close but we're sitting all right for it We're moving quite along. Just me and Tim here shingling, keeping up with the four of them on their tear off. They'll probably beat us, they'll definitely beat us by a little by the time we get over that rake, but it's all good. Just a quick little update, just wanna let you guys know how things are going. Yeah, all right. All right, catastrophe struck on our one day deal. Uh, so much so that I'm probably just gonna fix this issue get this stuff dried in and we'll just plan on coming out here tomorrow unfortunately this is real bad I don't know if you can see how bad that is but but we uh we got yeah this is all wet insulation this stuff soaking wet I don't know how they don't have any stains on their dry drywall yet why is it doing that? Why is it even at an angle when it doesn't need to be? God. 
I need a few more sheets pulled off. See what's happening. Well, that explains how they don't have any water dripping on their drywall too much. It's getting caught on this drywall more. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna, this is all dry. Actually, this one's wet. This is dry, and we're gonna do from here over. This is a what? This is the accent. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> That's funny. The kid's down there screaming now. Oh god. What? What's that? What are you talking about? Oh yeah. Do it. We got open wires. Do it. They got open wires? Yeah. Oh come on. Not wrapped very well either. Ah. This ain't us, man. What is that? You need wire nuts or tape? Uh, that's about to insulate. Yeah, we're recording Boyk up. Mr. Allergic to Peanuts. <laughs> we got this all insulated in. Starting to dry in. We're just going to get out of here today. You know, right about that one, that one time, that dark time. Here's a little trick if you guys didn't know. A little survival trick in case you ever get caught out in this, the wilderness. Take your hand, cover up that sun, right? Arms like in front of you. Okay? Every finger is 15 minutes down to the horizon. Got about an hour worth of sunlight here. Pretty cool, huh? In case y'all didn't know, it's some Bear grill stuff. Uh oh. Police walking to the neighbor's house now. What is happening? Something's going down. I don't need no more gunshots in my life. Been there, done that. Who knows what? Uh, I need to get out of here. Who knows what's happening with that with that guy inside? He probably gonna come out guns blazing, man. Don't nobody want to get arrested these days. There ain't a system for the man. For the low man, for the poor man. There ain't no system for the broke man. Only system's out, man. Shoot. Shoot, that's our only way out. That's our only chance, bro. That's our only chance, bro. Oh, shit. It starts. <laughs> you, see what, you didn't see what I was doing. All right. <laughs> anyway, let me get back in a character here. What's happening out there? He uh, uh oh, yeah. Hold on, we got somebody over there. He's throwing, he's throwing his hands up in the air. Guy in a blue shirt. Oh, he's smoking a cigarette. That's his last one for a few weeks, man. Last one for a few weeks. All oh, the cops coming back over. Let me try to get everything in the in the thing here. Cops coming out from behind the shed right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To me, I think there was a death. To me, it looks like a death. I think. I think that there was a somebody got killed. Maybe several people killed. I mean, it could be just a simple house call, maybe a little bit of a, uh, maybe a little bit of domestic discipline, but. Domestic discipline? <laughs> is that the good way to say it? That's the nice way to say it, right? Or is that, that or is that just, is that just the 1940s way to say it? <laughs> Nothing going on here, sir, just a little bit of domestic discipline, you know? And she's sitting there with a little blood dripping out her lip at the front door. Standing behind him. Oh man. Oh, we got some neighbors out here too. They're like, oh, somebody got killed. Maybe they're just about to throw down in the front yard. Little mother daughter, regardless of where the cops are. It's that mother daughter dance.
cut this. Okay. Now see how I'm doing five shingles here. I got about an inch and a half here left over, about an inch there. So that's all you can really get out of five, right? But let's see uh, what you got real quick. If I were to put a sixth one here, you could always slice down this straight edge. You guys can eyeball that straight enough to expose this part. So you can actually get away with six. But uh, I recommend just try to stick with five. If you if you go if you go over five, you know, like I said, you can do that trick. So what we're doing here is um, leaving about an eighth strong here, down here as well. And you kind of want to run your knife. Keep keeps turning. Sorry, because I'm trying to explain things. You kind of want to keep your knife pretty close to this, if not right against it. I'm talking about the. Uh, the shingle here. Also, I turn it upside down because these shingles are harder, harder to cut through, through the back. So if I had it the other way, like this, I'd be grabbing and slicing all up in here and marking this thing all up. So I turn it upside down for that reason. Also, if I had it this way, look what would be happening. I'd have my knee, see how my knee's on the tar here? It would really be on the tar here and these wouldn't be making tar marks on the shingles. So, um, kind of run that knife right down there. My first cut might have been a little bad, but a little on the long side, if anything. But here's how it's gonna look. You know, it's pretty, pretty straight line. Nothing's overhanging the starter. You got a nice clean line. I didn't do all the way down at the bottom. That was Tim yesterday. Um, but yeah, now you just use all of this as uh, some change. So if anybody is trying to time it and compare me to anybody else that they see on YouTube, go for it. This is where the fun starts. Guess what? We're gonna need a piece here, so because this next piece ain't gonna be long enough. See that? Mm -hmm. So you gotta add a piece. You always add about a one footer, something that just gets gets across the seam, right? That's why I paid attention to my nails here. I didn't want to put a nail right here. Okay, now we're gonna go over this side. Okay, now we gotta pay attention to our nails here because guess what? Now this shape is landing in a different area. We don't got one nail to put here and skip over where we know, you know, just like that. We don't have that here, so we got to pay attention. So I can put two on the outside and two or three in here, and that's plenty. Now look, I, this shingle is nailed off, but I don't have a nail anywhere near any seam. Now I just go about my day as normal, kind of shingling for a little bit. down there already ranch so here I'll show you what that six looks like just because just because I can why not so now look I put on too many right let me show you my shingle won't reach right I got no way to tell you can put another shingle if you wanted we're trying to get real crazy just look see how I can peel that I can cut right down the starter the whole time now I know that, that that cut is right there. Now I can get away with it, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're just gonna go like this. I 
usually don't kneel down. Nice clean edge, all the way. Right. We used our scrap up the last time, which means when we're doing this, what you want to do is you want to flush these shingles. Make them flush. Don't pay too much attention to the line because I just used a bunch of cut pieces with non-factory ends in here, which is okay. For anybody who wants to say it's not okay, you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> but uh, that means all these small pieces that can let this get a little off. And that's not uncommon for that to get off if you're using a lot of small pieces. So by flushing this up here, you're getting a lot straighter of a shingle. Your, your edge is gonna look a lot straighter and I'll show you how straight it's gonna look as soon as I get finished over here. All right. After one or two, you can, uh, you can start going back to uh, just kind of paying attention to the line. You don't wanna do that too many times, otherwise you'll just do too much compensating. Let me show you guys how that turns out. John, can you move some of that stuff, please? Thank you. I won't include you in the shot. <laughs> so, nice and straight. No drop, no frown or smile. Just stays, stays nice and good. Scrap efficient, and it's very fast. You won't find many ways that even compare to that, let alone beat it. You know, and you can, uh, I've actually seen a couple good ways, and I went and looked on some of, well, first off, I wrote, I wrote down times on when they started, and when they ended, I watched it a few different times to figure out if they did one really fast compared to usual, or if they did one really slow compared to usual. And I, I looked at it, and I kind of got a rough time of what what his time is when everything goes good, right? Then I went and looked at one of my other videos, the one, uh, the credibility check video. And timed myself on that as well with not even knowing, you know, 
not even really trying to go fast on that particular thing, just probably the same as he wasn't either. And I was still faster than him just by a little bit. So, you know, there's more than one way to do everything. That's how I like to do it. Keeps things straight, uh, keeps, uh, keeps it scrap efficient. And it's very fast for me. That's the style I like to use. So um, if you guys do a different style, feel free to film yourselves and just put it, you know, tag it in the comments somewhere. Or if I've got a pinned comment of my own or something, comment it right there. Then it's always going to be right on the top. If anybody wants to take a look at different ways, feel more, feel free to do that. Because then there's more ways to see how to do these things, you know. So we can all get better together. All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little skit in the beginning. I did not plan that. So, okay, bye. Let's see what's happening over there. They gone? <laughs> Stop what? You better hurry up. Where's my cut? Oh, what? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Jesus. You got kind of. <laughs> you hold your knife so close to the tip, dude. And, uh, Never seen somebody tip a knife like that. You're gonna get some knuckle busters, dude, in your day. Just move that whole shingle. I wanna see what the hell that is. Oh, oh it was just a little scrap. Okay, so All right, scraps. Very good. It's got a nice little, nice little set there. Keep going, boy cup. I just made a video on. I don't care how nervous you are. You better start. You better start killing it, man. The world wants to see your progress. Yes, they do. Now hurry up. Ah, making mistakes. What? You don't know? Uh, oh. you might be able to get away with it. I think I'll be right fucking there. Yeah, right at the tar line, short. With some nails for you. Okay. There you go. Why do you always do that? You know it's gonna shoot. Oh. What I say? Right at that dang tar line, bro. That's good though. That's not good. Well, no, that ain't good. Yeah, now you gotta add a piece, I'll but look at it. it. Yeah, but you put your nail really close here, so you gotta make sure it comes out. Put it, put that full shingle up, and make sure you cut it exactly right here, so it's in the center of these two nails. Yeah, right there, right on. Hey, hey, uh. right on my finger. Yeah. Oh, right on the fucking tongue. What the thick part? Yeah. So what? Now just fold it underneath. Make a on me. Boom, cracks right off. They actually cut pretty easy in the cold. Yeah. Like those kinds of cuts. There you go. Got lucky, boy. Got... Oh. Gotta get in that habit, though. You know what happens when you had to do that before? Oh, well, it's short anyway. Just as short as the other one. Dude, show everybody your progress. Here yeah. I am just struggling. <laughs> Screwing up. Just fucking up. Hi! Yeah, what are so, you doing? Uh, oh, no, 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 no I, I don't know. How do, what's a sure way to know? That's right. If you're unsure, but the hell. Okay. Very nice. Drive on. Move on, soldier. Come on, quick, Lear. Move, move, move. All right, all right. The old hibachi. Oh, no. Pretty soon you're gonna have to call it a matabo. It's perfect. Stop. You're always oh no about dumb stuff, dude. <laughs> Hold on. Dude. Look at this upside down one. <laughs> Get the Matabo! Dude, doesn't it? 
It sounds kind of like Molotov. That's what it reminds me of. Nicely done, son. Right there, I already did that once on your ass. Did you? Dude, yeah. The one video. Oh, you use it as a thumbnail, though, dude, you? I did. It says, it's, <laughs> dude, it says, how many of these mistakes do you make? And it's got you holding the shingle upside down, ready to nail it. And you didn't even try to make a thumbnail. That's just your dumb ass sh trying to shingle. <laughs> Help you out right there, kid. Come on, get up that run. Huh? Get up that run. You need, you need to work on that fourth nail. It's way too close to where your fifth nail goes. It's fine. Yes, there. Back a little. Yep. Go ahead. Come on. All right. Come on. Bust this out, boy cub. For the camera. For the, for the people at home. For the people at home. What's he doing? Look at this. Holding his hand behind his back while he shingle while he nails or something. Watch this. There you oh, go. Oh, that's horrible. What a China? Oh, look at that gap. Oh, so shit. What'd you do? Mm -hmm. Pay attention, hey, you man. That's what happens when you. On the bus. Dude, that's what happens when you try to go fast, boy cub. No, that's what happens when you. Dude, I was telling him to go fast the whole time. <laughs> Still, go fast within, uh, you know, but can't be fast and be incorrect, you know? Jesus. One of these two didn't work. God bless it. I am. I'll, I'll PJ over here, Project, Project John, turning everything to a project. Cutting a shingle, that's a project. Right there. I'll make that take three hours. I ain't got no problem with that. Take a few hours, you know. Job security. Christmas coming up. Why well, be great when you can just be average? Just take down time, cutting them through that other shingle. Yeah. All right. I've about had it. I'm going to ridge this thing up and get the hell back to northwest Indiana. <laughs> They're not even acknowledging it. They're just pulling that pulse fucking plum. I mean, it's got a little stank to it. You think they got a Jenny on there or something? Come on, boy cup. Oh, come on. You gotta start making you guys realize your phrase. Our phrase? Yeah, everybody's got a fucking phrase. What's my phrase? I don't know. Exactly. Golden like, <laughs> hey, golden like a shower. Yeah. Yeah, but he his phrase is different. I, that's just something I say a lot. He just, that's his reaction a lot. That's, there's a difference there. I purposely say golden like a shower. Whoa. Dude, you suck. What are you doing? Pop that thing. Pop that piece of cap. Then I'll tell her, bring it back. Pop that piece of cat, but I'll tell him put it back. Uh 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 u